amateur video showing what are said to be barrel bombs raining down on a Damascus suburb. Outside the city of Aleppo, rebel forces fire back, pressing ahead with a new offensive, while hope ebbs away. The bombing hasn't stopped. The besieged area remains surrounded. As the fighting in Syria intensifies, so does pressure on the United States and the Obama administration, which has been hoping to resolve the crisis while staying at arm's length. Secretary of State John Kerry. This war will not come to an end on the battlefield, I believe, and I think most people believe. It will come to an end through a negotiated settlement. But in recent weeks, there have been signs the U.S. view of the conflict may be changing, including recent testimony by CIA Director John Brennan. Syria presents a number of challenges to U.S. national security interests in terms of the uh, potential spillover of the fighting inside of Syria to neighboring countries, but also, and increasingly so, uh, concerns on the terrorism front. And National Intelligence Director James Clapper. Complicating this further are the 7,500 or so foreign fighters from some 50 countries who have gravitated to Syria. Um, among them are a, f a small group of AFPAC Al Qaeda veterans who have aspirations for external attack in Europe, if not the homeland. Even Secretary of State Kerry pointed to a new focus while discussing counterterrorism policy this past week in Munich. Now we are focusing in on Syria where there are increasing numbers of uh, extremists. Critics who have slammed the U.S. administration for focusing more on process than on policy see that as a positive sign, but still worry about meddling by countries like Iran, allowed so far to strengthen the Syrian regime. Michael Duran with the Brookings Institution. Uh, so you don't have a counterterrorism strategy. You don't have an Iran containment strategy. Um, and uh, Syria is also the, the issue in the region that all of the other states are responding to and, and allying on the basis of. So if you don't have a Syria strategy, you really don't have a Middle East strategy. For now, the U.S. seems content to have negotiations play out, though officials are quick to point out all options remain on the table. Jeff Selden, VOA News. Washington. Have been quite uh, intense and 